Well, a new name and a new number for NASA. $1.6 billion for its accelerated moon mission. Artemis, the twin sister of the Greek god Apollo, is what NASA is now calling its return to the moon. NASA's administrator suggested the first woman will walk on the moon in 2024. And to do that, he now says it will take more than a billion and a half dollars extra, and that's just for next year's budget. New 6's Eric Von Enken has been digging into how NASA will spend the taxpayer dollars if it gets them from Congress. Eric? Lisa, NASA's administrator said this afternoon to follow that order that came straight from the vice president in March, go back to the moon in 2024, which is four years sooner than NASA had planned. Well, he's going to need $1 billion to build or buy just the moon lander and $600 million to speed up work on that giant rocket, the SLS, and that's just for 2020. And on top of that, that also includes NASA's yearly $21 billion budget. What we are trying to do is develop commerce in space. NASA's administrator Jim Bridenstine crisscrossed Washington, D.C. today telling Congress and before that his own team, the workforce that will fulfill the mission to the moon in five years, why he needs the extra $1.6 billion to get there. We need an SLS rocket with the Orion crew capsule and the European service module. We also need a gateway. And finally, we need the landing capability to get us to the surface of the moon. We put it all together, and it turns out that we need about $1.6 billion. For this, we design an entirely new rocket. A space launch system. Bridenstine's new video released this afternoon doubles down on the SLS, the most powerful rocket ever that will take astronauts to the moon and then Mars, and the one that has already cost taxpayers tens of billions of dollars to develop way over budget and behind schedule. And it mentions commercial companies. Using our commercial partners. Piggybacking on projects like Blue Moon's Lunar Lander announced just last week. We had a plan for 2028. Why are we accelerating to 2024? Bridenstine also explained that, yes, speeding up the moon mission's timeline is political. It's always because priorities change, budgets change, administrations change, Congresses change. So how do we retire as much political risk as possible? We accelerate the program. And politics is also the problem that some Democrats have with this 2024 moon mission. They say the president is speeding up the timeline just to get a big, showy achievement under his belt before his second term ends, assuming, of course, he wins a second term. Lisa.